Hey, Mac here. I uh, just want to do a real quick review of a tool I'm really excited about that I just got. This is a Lee Nielsen number 62 low angle bench plane. It's a large format block plane. Uh, and as you can see, it looks a little different from a standard uh, number five bench plane um, in that the plane iron is uh, bedded at a very low angle. There's no frog. Um, this is a really cool little plane. Um, I'll show you in a minute um, the different parts and how to take it apart and what it can do. But first of all, I just wanted to show you um, how well these things cut right out of the box uh, and what a good job Lee Nielsen does of having these um, set up. Um, so I'm gonna get out the shooting board and uh, take a couple of test cuts and show you what it looks like. All right, so I've got my shooting board here. I'm just gonna set it up for sort of a quick and dirty 45 here. That edge is fantastic. That surface is great. In the shavings, I mean, I'm getting almost complete shavings. They're falling apart, but of of ingrain. Well, it's at a 45, but um, that's pretty fantastic considering I have done no honing, or sharpening of any kind. This is simply out of the box sharp. Um, that's, that's just outstanding. Okay, so I just real quick want to run through um, the features and components of the plane because it is set up a little bit different than a standard or typical bench plane that you may have used before. So some of it's going to look very familiar, right? Even though there's no frog, um, this cap iron is very typical. It just releases very easily with this screw and blade just comes right out. This is a bevel up plane, uh, which is different than, than your standard bench plane, which would be bevel down, right? Uh, this is a very thick iron uh, to reassemble. We just do the reverse of what we just did. Now you might notice there is no lateral adjustment on this plane. And Lee Nielsen says that it's, um, that these planes are set up so there's not very much play anyway, so it's, it's less important. But I do think that as you, um, you know, make adjustments, you, uh, you do need to pay attention to it as you're setting things back up uh, and try to get it as close as possible as you're um, putting on the cap iron. And then you can make uh, moderate adjustments afterwards by tapping with a, with a hammer, just a little tap to, to move it slightly laterally. Um, standard knob for um, moving the blade in and out for depth of cut. Um, similar to a lot of block planes, you can adjust the mouth. And the way you do that is um, you twist this cherry knob, which loosens things up. And then with this um, brass ring, you can adjust the mouth in and out. And so the idea here and the goal is that you want to um, adjust the mouth so it's only as wide as the shaving you're planning on taking. So you open it up for a more aggressive cut um, and you, you bring it in for a finer cut and that, uh, at least in theory, will minimize tear out for you. Um, I'll also just note real quick that the, the build quality on this is really second to none, and you'd expect that from Lee Nielsen. I don't know how well I can capture this with the camera, but, um, you know, it's, it's milled, dead square, just fantastic, solid, well-built um, piece, of, piece of gear. So uh, highly recommended. If, you're, if you've been thinking about picking one of these up, I wouldn't hesitate to do so. I think it'd be pretty hard to regret. Um, so again, it's the Lee Nielsen number 62 
low angle bench plane, large format block plane, made in the good old US of A. All right, that's it for me. I'm Mac. I'll catch you next time.